peace building, as you know, is an ever continuing process. Peace does not just happen spontaneously, and it certainly doesn't always last, unless we continuously invest in it. Reflecting on your experience, what insights have you gained regarding the role of the peace building fund? What unique strengths does it bring in your view? So the fund was uh, designed to be catalytic, so to try and uh, um, inspire, energize, you know, others, you know, to work together, to put more resources on the table, yeah. um, to really be a connector between um, different entities of the wider system. The fund was also designed to be flexible, to be innovative, but I think that catalytic element for me is so critical and so unique. Many out there you know, often don't understand that the PBF is not an agency, it's not a fund, it's not a program, it's not mm -hmm. you know, a separate entity of the UN. It's really um, an instrument that can bring different parts of the UN family and the wider peace building community together. And I think this is the unique strength of the mm -hmm. UN Peace Building mm -hmm. Fund. It's the ability to connect. You know, the UN Secretary General calls it the hinge. We joke mm -hmm. about, you know, the word, but it really is this, you know, connecting element that can bring together different parts of all the actors that are really focused on uh, advancing peace. And it has a particular role in supporting local peace builders, mm -hmm. um, supporting young people, supporting women peace builders. Now, I think we could do a lot more in that respect, and that's something that I hope the eighth um, advisory group will further, you know, in, together with, uh, uh, with the team. But it does provide resources in countries that are used, you know, to support local civil society organizations focused on peace building, you know, brings together the UN family together with, you know, national structures and of course, you know, has the, the primacy of the national ownership at the center of yeah. what it does. All of those things are really, really important because it means that it is valued. Um, in country, and I've seen that first stand in Mauritania. You know, when so we visited we were together, together yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Last year, um, last year, you know how how important it is in so many parts where the resources are not available. You know, to support small but critical, you know, transformational interventions to invest in prevention, which is something that the fund does a lot, and we know how hard it is to find resources for prevention, and yet how fundamental prevention is in so many contexts. Um, so, yeah, I think that the, the fund has a really unique role, and I just hope that more resources can be made available, you know, to continue to play this transformative role. Yes, absolutely. Well, I do hope that uh, those who could uh, support the fund more and bring in more resources are hearing you right <laughs> now about the need to uh, to grow out the fund. You know that uh, we're at uh, one of our lowest liquidity levels in years, and yet the demand for support from the Peace Building Fund continues to grow, not only from countries uh, at the moment act actively in conflict situations, but as you were saying, countries that wish to have PBF support uh, in a preventive mode in order to strengthen their institutions, their processes, their civil society, um, uh, their institutions, um, in order to make sure that uh, they are able to weather the storms that all countries uh, go through when it comes to uh, all of the threats that can, um, that can be faced in terms of uh, of uh, maintaining and sustaining yeah. uh, peace. And perhaps, you know, again, we saw that in Mauritania, this particular focus on the youth, but also the priority that the, can that the fund has on cross-border yeah. initiatives, that is very difficult for mm -hmm. the UN family to work cross-border. Yeah. Um, it's very difficult to have initiatives also with you know, other stakeholders that work across borders, and yet in so many contexts, the challenges are you know, cross border, you know, they, they, they don't stop um, within the national borders. And so having resources that can bring together um, sort of players um, within a, a specific region, you know, the Sahel being one of them, but obviously many others, is so important. Yeah, no, without a doubt. And we also pride ourselves uh, on uh, the fund being a very agile instrument risk tolerant in addition to having that integrator effect yeah. across the UN system where a number of agencies funds and programs usually work hand in glove on a particular initiative with uh, with local and national actors of course and all based on on national uh, ownership so uh, we are quite uh, quite proud of the fund uh, in indeed and I think uh, the support that we provide in terms of 
um, support for inclusion to make sure that all sectors of society are fully included in building and sustaining peace in their societies is, is another extremely important feature. You mentioned it, gender equality and women's empowerment. We are one of the champions in the UN system yes. where last mm -hmm. year 47% of the resources went to gender equality, women's empowerment. Also, um, a lot of work in supporting youth empowerment, youth inclusion uh, in peace building and in decision making um, on, on peace efforts. And uh, we hope to really continue that very strongly uh, in future as well.